So Matthew Williams here, quick video to say if you're having trouble on Windows 7 installing Service Pack 1, uh, we're in the 17th of the 1st, 2019 now. Okay, that's very important. Okay, if you're having trouble installing Service Pack 1 and it just keeps on coming up with this error saying there's something wrong with the installation, we've had to quit, it didn't install Service Pack 1 and I've formatted the drive a couple of times and I've tried again and it just keeps saying the same thing. Try this, try this. You ready for this? Turn the date on your clock back to 2017. Hmm, I think you might find it works after that. Hmm, Microsoft have put a little bomb basically in Service Pack 1 that 2019 it's not gonna work. Now. I kind of got a whiff of this little, you know, Microsoft bullshit when the updates, you know, automatic updates, um, would not install Service Pack 1 anymore. And you, you got this like, screen would come up in the middle of installing your updates. It would say, Service Pack 1, yeah, do you want to install it now? And you go, yep. And then it would take you to Internet Explorer, which would then crash going to the web page, which was a Microsoft web page, but it would crash. So then you'd have to paste that link into something like Firefox, which would then take you to that page, and then you'd have to download a three gig, something like a three gig, it's, it's a big file, it's big, something like a three gig um, ISO file, and then you'd have to, um, you'd have to get that, sorry, it's two gigs, two gigs, I'm just looking at it now, two gig ISO file, then you'd have to get something like WinRAR to expand the uh, ISO file to look inside it and then you can install the files so basically what they what Microsoft were trying to do is not allow you to automatically install Service Pack 1 so that anyone that wasn't clever enough to know how to go and get Service Pack 1 would be stuffed oh well I better just get Windows 10 then hadn't I yeah and that's what they were trying to do so they stopped you getting those automatic updates you let you get security updates but they wouldn't let you get the service pack. So you can manually download it yourself, but then, boom, if it's 2019, it won't install. Yeah, really. So anyway, turn your clock back 2017, and thank you very much. And here's the proof now that it works. Whoops, hang on, wiggle my mouse. Unbelievable. What's the time? The timing on that was just absolutely impeccable. All right, and there's the date. So... Thanks very much for watching. Fuck you, Microsoft.